Hello everyone. Welcome back to today's topic of the day. Today we'll be discussing about cryptocurrencies under the anti-money laundering law. Now in March 2023, the Union Finance Minister issued a notification bringing transactions involving virtual digital assets that is cryptocurrencies and non-fungible tokens under the Prevention of Money Laundering Act. Now broadly this means that any financial wrongdoing involving cryptocurrency assets can now be investigated by the enforcement directorate or ed now the following transactions will be covered under the prevention of money laundering act the exchange between virtual digital assets and the fiat currencies exchange between one or more forms of virtual digital assets next is transfer of virtual digital assets safe keeping or administration of virtual digital assets or instruments enabling control over virtual digital assets participation in and provision of financial services related to an issuer's offer and sale of a virtual digital asset now let's see the reason why it is included in the anti money laundering law bringing in virtual digital assets under the money laundering law is expected to aid investigative agencies the enforcement directorate and income tax department in carrying out action against companies running cryptocurrency exchanges and transactions last year the enforcement directorate froze the bank balances of the popular wazir x exchange now there are concerns among the cryptocurrency industry that the notification does not offer entities time to adhere to the of fresh norms and the industry is also concerned that in the absence of a central regulator crypto entities could end up dealing directly with enforcement agencies like the enforcement directorate now let's see the legal status of crypto in india in the union budget of the 2022-23 the government brought in a tax for cryptocurrencies from april 2022 india introduced a 30% income tax on gains made from crypto cryptocurrencies in july 2022 rules regarding 1% tax deducted at source on cryptocurrency came into effect earlier the reserve bank of india had proposed a ban that was set aside by a court order in july 2022 finance minister nirmala sitaraman told parliament that international collaboration would be needed for an effective regulation or ban on cryptocurrency now let's understand the prevention of money laundering Laundering Act 2002. Now this act allows the center to confiscate property earned through illegal proceeds. It was framed to prevent people from legalizing the money earned from illegal sources. The Enforcement Directorate or the ED is responsible for investigating the offenses. Additionally, the Financial Intelligence Unit India under the Department of Revenue, Ministry of Finance is the central national agency responsible for receiving, processing and analyzing and disseminating the information relating to suspect financial transactions now if found guilty the person who committed money laundering can be awarded rigorous imprisonment for a minimum of 3 years up to 7 years a fine without any limit can also be imposed also their property can be seized and attached now that was little bit about the topic let's take a practice question consider the following statements statement 1 exchange between virtual digital assets and fiat currencies statement 2 exchange between one or more forms of virtual digital assets and statement 3 safe keeping or administration of virtual digital assets now which of the above mentioned transactions will now be covered under prevention of money laundering act 2002 you may take a moment and give your answer in the comment section below now the correct answer is d that is all the above mentioned three statements are correct i hope you liked the video and found the information useful you may also check out our daily current affairs section on our website and for more such updates stay tuned to next is youtube channel